How are you all doing? Triumph Tiger. Brakes not working. Let's fix them. Let's get on with it. Right then, the first thing I want to do is take the reservoir cap off, but it is behind this panel. I've only run that screw, but there's another screw under there. Well, don't it look like that's missing actually. There's, uh, there's one screw missing. Let's whip these two off. Is something about Triumph that they are a bit overkill with the length of their bolts for things like that. Right, so there should be a popper on this, so let's try and pop it off without breaking anything. There we go, one popper. And there she is, the reservoir cap. Let's see if we can undo it. Well, yeah, it's not too bad. take that off to release the pressure and I'll just use my Gracho marks to remove the brake fluid like there's been a stuck pin in here because I don't know if you can see that but somebody's drilled through it Right, so the first thing I'm going to try and do is, I'm not going to take the caliper off straight away, I'm going to try and undo these two Allen key bolts, because they can be very tricky. So wish me luck. Oh yes, come on, you know you want to. Oh, they're very tight. Uh, I found two videos on Tiger Brakes on YouTube. One was pretty diabolical actually. The guy actually took the pads out, they were grinded down to the metal. The pistons were all covered in black soot and he just pushed them back in with a screwdriver. And then the video caught to the pistons being in because he couldn't push them in. And you could see WD-40 everywhere. Then when he put the brand new pads back in, his hands were absolutely filthy. And he was getting all black grime over the new brake pads. So that wasn't really very helpful. Uh, the second video was the delightful Del Boy. Cool, that's tight. But I got as far as the thumbnail with that one. I didn't even bother clicking on it. Okay, let's. Uh, that one feels a bit. Don't feel too good. Try and make sure the Allen key's in properly. Just get a bit of a ball. Put it on the Allen key. And hopefully. It's going to turn. But we're having a bit of trouble. Come on. Play the game. I'm going to take these all the way out, hopefully. Pretty sure these brake pads are jam solid. I don't know if you can see all the crap what's coming out down there. Hopefully we can get these pins out. Oh, look at the state of that. Can we get this one out? better. So let's slacken these two bolts off. They are 14 millimeter bolts. That's one. That's two. Right. 
right. See how easy this is to take off. Huh. Pretty easy actually. Ooh. Plenty of tread left on them. Or that one anyway. Don't mean it's going to be the same on the other side. And the other one's got plenty of tread left on that as well. So hopefully I haven't got to spend 30 odd quid on brake pads. Let's see if we can get this floating bracket off. Obviously that's why somebody's drilled through there because it was seized on before. And it's probably seized on again. See if that does any help. <laughs> no, nope, no help whatsoever. Okay, so I've put it on a couple of top boxes. I've sprayed it with WD forty. I've tried to bash it out with this centre punch from the old what's already there this is too springy so I'm going to take the brake pipe off and try and get this in the vise so let's uh, whack that back on there again it is a 14mm but it's rusty let's try and whack this one done hopefully there isn't too much uh, brake fluid going to start pumping out Oh my god. To try and hold that there and uh, take this back off of here. And try not to lose the copper washer. I could do with some rag. It could do with some rage on it to stop all this from going all over the place. I'll leave that like that. No, stay there. Bit of old rag. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been at this a while. Trying to get this plate off. Board it out here, one last attempt. Try and do it on the concrete. Got a little hole there, push that in there. Someone's obviously tried to do this before, but they didn't succeed with the looks of it. I think it's going. punch is getting too fat for the old so I'll have to find some else let's try it with this one looks a bit thinner not a lot but it might help a bit I'm using the hammer like that because I don't want to hit it too hard because I don't want to break any of these off Oh, it's definitely going. Look at the state of that, it's rusty as flip. So whoever tried this before, definitely didn't manage to do it. Drilled it all through there and they still couldn't do it. But it's got to come off because we all remember what the back brake sounded like. Mm-hmm. 
Sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, let's keep going. Now this centre punch is starting to get too fat. Because it's uh, nice and thin and then it starts to get fatter so it don't go in. Did it long? Well, I'm sure I've made that hole bigger. Right then, so I found one of these which will fit nicely down there. So let's try that one. Is that it? <laughs> cool. Get the state of them. They haven't been out there since probably the bike was built. So I'm pretty sure to say whoever drilled that hole, I've got that stuck in there now, didn't get it out. Probably because his name is not Johnny. Now I've got to try and get that key out there. There we go. Simple. Yeah, they want a good clean up. And I've just thought of another problem. I should have tried to pump these pistons out before I took it off. Before I uh, separated it from its pipe. So anyway, at least that's off. That was a big problem. If we couldn't get that off. It's going to need one hell of a good clean up. Okay, let me explain to you what I've just done. I've put it all back together so I can bleed it but the uh, bleed screw was really tight and as you know these can snap very easily so I've just been really careful with it managed to get it undone and nice and free now because I took it completely out and give it a good wire brushing and now as you can tell I've filled the reservoir up again Give it a good clean out first. So now I'm just gonna try and get the pressure back up by pumping the brake and opening the bleed screw. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? I would take this bracket off as well so the pipe's more freer, but uh, that bolt's not having it. hear any air bursting out. Looks like I'm going to have to keep the brake pedal down. So try and reach with my foot. Press the brake down. Now I don't do the nipple. Oh that's better. Got a bit more of a spurt. it down. It's too bloody tight now. Oh. <laughs> uh, looks a bit disgusting the way that shoots out there. I'm not gonna lie. See if you can get a better view. Don't go all over my leg. So I've rearranged around a bit. I've been pumping. This one's starting to come out, so I've put that there to stop it falling out. And if we keep pumping, this one should come out as well. There we go. Okay, so I've managed to get the pistons right out. Just to check everything. The seals look pretty good. So hopefully I'm not going to need a new seal kit. And pistons look pretty good too. So, 
So that's all good. Let's get them all back together and see if we can uh, get some non-sticky back brake. Yeah, so you should be able to push your pistons back in fairly easy. If you can't, then there's something not quite right. So that's that one. So let me get the other one back in and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so that's both pistons back in. Uh, cleaned all the floating pins and the fixing bracket. And put some grease on those. Cleaned all the uh, pads up. They look pretty good. Cleaned up the pins for the uh, pads. They'll get some grease on as well. Not too much. And there uh, we've cleaned up the uh, little bottom squash plate thing. So let's get it all back together. So that goes on. Not sure which way that goes on. Go on that way. It goes on that way. I'll say. Like so, we can get some uh, multi-purpose grease and uh, put some on these things. I have actually cleaned inside the holes that they go in as well. But that hole, I'm going to have to fill that in with that uh, putty stuff I've got because I don't think water going in there will help the brakes at all. So I'll give these a good bit of grease because uh, I don't think these are going to go anywhere near the pads. And this should just slot into there. So is it still tight? Please don't be still tight. Oh no, that's it. It's a nice and loose look. So it's got to float about. If it don't float about, you'll get sticky brakes. Guaranteed. Now then. This one must have gone in there like that. <laughs> that one must go on the top and knock into that bit. Yeah, we can push pin through there. Hopefully I've got it in the right hole. Let's try and get this one in. Here we go. that screws back in. Just a little pinch up, don't have to go too mad. That one as well. That's it. Let's try and make a little gap for the brake disc. Hopefully that will slot onto there. Here we go. Put a fixing bolt in. And the other fixing bolt. Reservoir's top top. Get pumping. Keep the brake pedal down. Undo the undo the 
ันได้ปุ๊บนอกรอชักเลยนะจะไม่เนี่ยSo I can check see if it's uh, still sticking. Bloody hope not. I'll just try and roll it about. Once the wife gets back, I can put it on the main stand. Though it's not for a couple of days yet. Press the back brake as hard as we can. And then see if we can move the bike. Yes, fantastic, fantastico. Okay, let me sit on it. See if I can push it with the other leg. Put a stand up. Oop. Oh yes. Oh, don't fall over. Oh yes, baby. Oh my God, that feels good. Got a good back break and it's not sticking. Wicked. Excuse my wellies, but I've just got back with the dog. Been for a very muddy walk. Okay, so we're not gonna forget the uh, little hole in the brake caliper. I'm going to use some of this putty patch which I used on the XJ900S. So let's stop any more rust, dirt and crap getting inside the caliper pin. For those of you who haven't seen this stuff before, just cut a piece off to what size you think you need. Like so. Then all you do is just squash it together until it becomes one grey colour. And you do actually feel it getting warm in your fingers. So I think that should do it, that's all one colour. Now we can break a little piece off because we don't need much for this little hole. And then just poke it in the hole and wash it around. I'm going to leave that one day to dry, 24 hours, and then touch up all the wear and tear marks on the caliper with some black gloss. So there you go, rear brake caliper, Triumph Tiger, 2006. Yes sir, I'm not going to lie to you, it's probably one of the harder brake calipers that I have ever fixed. But don't let that put you off, 
if you're going to try, try. Because the only other way around it is spend a load of cash and let somebody else do it. So yes, on that note, I see you in another life, brother. If your motorcycle is broke, don't leave it like this for two years, standing and getting rusty. Fix it. Mm -hmm.